Oh, well, hello there. Did I get a new van? Nope. I'm going to give you a van tour, though, of one of the most popular Class B RVs on the market. It's made by Coachman. It's on the Ram Promaster chassis, the 3500, 21 foot in length. And it's won a bunch of awards, including Best of Show 2019 and uh, Best Motor New Motorhome of the Year 2021 by RV News. This is the Coachman Nova. 20 RB meaning rear bath with their lithium system LI3. Let me show you around. Coming in the patio door, we'll look at the cab first. This is on the newer 2023 Promaster chassis. Got the uh, digital uh, display, the bigger head unit for the stereo and some other input. I don't have the key, so I'm not able to turn this on for you. Uh, this seat spins around. There's a table mount right here. So you can put a pedestal and table here and utilize these two front seats. Pretty smart. Here's some storage for maps, sunglasses, things of that nature. And right above that is, this is a pretty spacious space all on its own. It's got a piece of equipment in here already, but this goes all the way back. You can see that too above the cab. Looking this direction, as you enter, this is going to be your galley. Let's take a close look at this and this being the bedroom. So this is similar to uh, the twin bed floor plan many manufacturers make, the galley right behind the driver's seat and the bathroom in the back. Looking at the galley, induction cooktop included. This has the true tank, accurate tank level monitoring system. Pretty cool. Paper towel, residential faucet. This has been winterized, so you can see some pink stuff floating around. There's your uh, spray hose for outside connection. Hose off equipment, feet, tip out for sponges, skinny drawer, utensils, microwave, standard non-convection, deep drawer right here, and a little bit of storage right here with these springy netty things. Um, it goes back a fair amount, and it is not pass through so you, that you don't have this entire length. You have just this space here. But nice to have every little inch used up. Here's just table storage right here that goes on this mount right here. Fridge, Nova Cool brand. Door opens fully. This is the freezer. You can get to that very easily. And those store a fair amount of food we have learned. Behind me is well, before we go behind me, let's look up here. Cabinet lit, lighted and has the um, fabric on the top side and down below. Those are good because they keep things from moving around. Uh, it does come with a Wi-Fi Ranger, which is pretty awesome. And this cabinet contains uh, many of the controls, including the Lithionic system. Truma, Burnus, and this is the Firefly system for... Uh, managing lights and all kinds of things like that. Speaking of lights, so, oops, puck lights, oops, there's the uh, outlet right above, and there's another one. I love how they do cabinets in the Coachman Beyond because they are so well done. They're Amish made. This is clearly the white color scheme, and this is brushed aluminum back here. It just gives a real bright, open feeling versus dark cabinetry. Okay, now looking behind, this is a cool thing right here which is a set of drawers and yes a trash can holder that's really nice positive locking nice drawers decoration what's really cool about this is you have some horizontal surface in the van the horizontal surfaces are probably the most precious space in a van because you can place things obviously on top of and without a permanent table uh, it, this it becomes even more precious. So to have this amount of space here, in addition to the galley, uh, really is good use of space and space planning. Let's keep looking. If we look here quick on the patio door, this has the awning style windows and it has um, two styles of window coverage. So this is the bug screen right here. You can see that. And this is the blind. So it goes all the way out, all the way this, or you can do a mix of both. Pretty smart. This is the spring-loaded screen. Not spring-loaded, I apologize. They, they kind of keep iterating on this. This is similar to mine. Goes all the way across. And I actually like this a lot. Simple, not dealing with magnets. It just slides back in. 
Fit and finish is really nice. It's soft vinyl, marine grade type, and just really, really well done. Here's the TV. Here's a little uh, nightlight. Pretty cool. Has a USB port here, very nice. Uh, television, obviously. This swings away so you can uh, view it from the bed, which would be really quite nice. Power, again, power charging. Speakers, speaker, speaker, speaker. So you get a pretty immersive sound and movie night with your AV system. Pretty amazing. Let's look at all the rest of the cabinets. I really like this one long cabinet without a barrier here so you can put long items in here or just kind of keep filling it up and using this as a brace to hold things in. Again, this to me is good. Keeps things from slipping around uh, top, side, and bottom. Really, really smart. Beautiful cabinets. Let me know what you think about this cabinetry and the glass inserts. Looking on this side, above the beds, kind of the same program, really long. firm hinges so you don't necessarily need positive locking um, but they will stay closed in most cases I think. Looking at the walls here again really nice vinyl there's the window so it has one two three wait for it four huge gorgeous clear windows look how clear those are how big they are how beautiful they are Speaking with the GM, uh, Nick, in the past, we know these come from Europe. Back on the back here, again, more night lights. Over here, more charging centers. Really awesome. And are they including uh, USB-C now, which is really nice. See that? Whoops. See that? This bottom one? Yeah. USB-C rocks kind of charge much faster. Traditional outlets. More cable accessories here. Firefly, so if you're laying in bed, you can control systems from here without having to get up and go to the cabinet right here, where we saw the controls earlier. Pretty smart. Looking at the twin bed, this is um, how it would typically be set up. Let's show you some storage under here. Let's move the pillow. And lifting up the cushion, we can see that there's actually no storage access here. What you're accessing here is some of the actual electronics, but there is a little bit of storage right here. Again, with these springy netty things. So we got storage here. One is on this side. Sorry about that. So there's one here, but the rest is gonna be reserved for tanks, electrical uh, and plumbing, things of that nature. This you're probably familiar with. This is lagoon table. What that means is that there's a pole that attaches to a vertical surface, then you move this around. Uh, this is on the smaller size, I would say average size, from a tabletop perspective, and there's only one place to mount the table. So while laying in bed, this becomes a nightstand. If you're eating, somebody can eat here, somebody can sit there. Lagoon tables, love them or hate them, they're really popular in the Class B space because it kind of gives some flexibility. One thing that's not apparent that should be called out is in this model, the Coachman Nova RB rear bath, you're actually able to sit and have at least one foot on the floor. And if you sit like this and you're having dinner or you're working, type, type, type. I'm 5'10", my feet are on the floor, which makes a huge difference versus having them up off the floor by two to three inches in some of the other floor plans by other manufacturers. And that leaves us with the bathroom. Let's check out the bathroom. Uh, stay to the very end of the pricing. And get, again, want to give a big shout out to the National Indoor RV Center here in the Atlanta area for giving us access to this amazing van. I've always liked the Coachman Nova product in particular. Um, I really prefer the ProMaster as a platform, but there's just something about this white cabinetry that just always catches my eye. It's hey, by the way, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small. Live large, all about the camper van travel experience. Okay, looking at the bathroom. First off, I like this bathroom door. Although with the lights on, you're gonna be see some shadow and some action, even with the door closed. It's on a spring system. And what you'll see here is a medicine chest, which is great. Hey, everybody. One of these pull-down sinks. 
What's nice about this, it has a drain in the middle. So as you're using this and spitting and rinsing, it's all going down the drain. And then as you tip it up, it goes into the drain inside the wall here, which is kind of interesting. Toothbrush holders and a little soap dispenser thing. Um, toilets, this uses a traditional wet flush uh, toilet. The pink is from you know, RV Interphrase. Uh, this is fairly typical in a RV lot situation. This is the shower pan for the shower. You can see the drain there. The shower curtain is on a rail system, so it goes all the way around. So no snapping of curtains in, but you do need the shower curtain to protect this beautiful cabinetry. Lots and lots of storage. Here's a uh, clothes hanger bar. So if you want to take shelves out and put hanging clothes, that would be great. Did I mention the horizontal surface? How important it is to have this by having this, you know, six or seven inch for, uh, horizontal surface means such a big deal when you're getting ready in the morning. You can put your your makeup, shaving supplies, turn here, do your thing. Shave, 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 and your stuff is sitting right here instead of, you guessed it, on the toilet seat. And so again, surface really smart. Thank you, Coachman. Sitting on the commode, here's some storage. Drawers, one, two, three. Pretty amazing. And what I like about this implementation of a rear bath is you got this wall here. So while you still have exposed to the windows, it does protect the commode from being seen by everybody on the outside, which is kind of different than some of the other folks. This is the pull down screen. So should you want to have your back doors open, some fresh air, uh, there's a bug screen. Here's the TP toilet tissue holder, kind of cool. We're gonna show you outside here in just a moment. But I thought you'd want to see the inside first. Vent, event, fan, or, uh, fan vent. I guess to vent, vent your f events. And this is what it looks like from the bathroom. So a really open concept. Very popular. Twin bed, twin bed, front galley. This is kind of different in the Nova uh, implementation and then the cabinets. What I want to show you as the surprise is this. This is a Truma air conditioning unit. This is new to the market, just been on the market for about a year now. This is the Truman Aventa. What makes these super interesting is they're uh, almost zero vibration. They're really low profile on the inside, very low profile on the outside. Does run on 110 volt, but it's extremely power efficient. So under the Coachman owner section of their website, here is the warranty, uh, Coachman RV limited warranty. So this warranty is for their motorized uh, coach and it's a one-year limited warranty uh, 12,000 miles or a one year 12 months whichever occurs first so better than some not as good as others and you can get all the details here on their warranty page with that I want to show you around outside but first let me talk about pricing We're looking at the National Indoor RV Center here in Atlanta we want to give them a huge shout out for giving me access to this van again this is a 2023 Nova by Coachman 20 RB rear bath uh, list price, MSRP is $159,980. They have that marked down to $121,274. So you're saving a fair amount of money right off the MSRP. What I would recommend doing is giving these folks a call and chat them up on um, that particular van. Let me show you outside quick and then we'll call it a wrap. Outside, you're gonna see these gorgeous awning style windows, how big they are, how beautiful, how clear. Did I mention how big they are? Uh, pretty interesting. Um, they have a warning label here to uh, not have this window open when you open the door. Pretty smart. Here we've got the Truma Furnace Exhaust. This is 110 uh, plugs, very cool. Love the upgraded wheels and tires here. Running board, so nice. Up above we have the awning. Extends the entire length of the van, which is great. Badging, this indicating lithium. Pretty standard stuff on the front of the van. Big running board, window, 
window. This is where all the action is. This is the smart plug, 30 amp into your coach solar so you can extend the, um, put a solar array out here so you can keep your van in the shade in the summer but put more solar out here to increase your battery charge. This is where the hose we saw in the kitchen sink would go to plug in here to get water for washing off gear, dogs, maybe cool your spouse off. Here's <laughs> some water. This is gonna be city water connection where you use pressurized city water. Uh, this is for the cable. A black tank flush, this rinses out your black tank, and this is fresh water connection to fill your tank, and then you're running off the pump from the van itself. Now what's kind of interesting about Coachman's approach to this is they have two gray water, one up front for the kitchen sink, which is right inside there. This is hose storage right there. And back here, there's another one for the shower, and I'm assuming sink gray, and this one also would be for the black tank, which would be the toilet weight. So all that, so you have to kind of move your hose twice. This one, I, I should clarify, is gray, so sink and shower. This one is toilet waste, the black, you can see that. Um, if you're using the sink, you're gonna have to empty both. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. You've got to move your hose once, twice, but still pretty cool. Let's keep going around. Coachman. Ladder. Tow hitch. Backup camera. Does have the luggage rack. And I'll show you this from the inside, what I was talking about on the commode being hidden a little bit. So lots of storage back here. And you can't really see the commode, so you can pull this down, and with the bathroom door open, have a little bit of a nice view out your back, which ain't bad. Coachman likes to promote this, which is the van build-out is made in America. The van itself, I think, is made in Mexico, but nonetheless, pretty cool. Really nice grab handle right here to get inside. And again, this is the... Um, the bug screen manual which is i actually prefer all right just give you a look around let me know what you think on this on this van it's pretty compelling for a lot of folks Hope you enjoyed that tour. I just love showing you van tours. It always gets me juiced up to see what other people are doing in their floor plans from a manufacturer standpoint. And uh, hey, if you want to do a live Q&A with us, we do it every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central on YouTube Live called What's Up Wednesday. We bring guests, we bring talk topics, and we have a chat amongst ourselves in the Go Small, Live Large community. Uh, join us next week for What's Up Wednesday. Until we see you soon, I wish you to journey on and peace be with you. Thank you for watching.